reason why I got out is because of the bullshit they wanted me to say and do. Who did you work for? Out in California. For, for whom? Who oh, yeah, you know some of the favorites? The Centennial over in San Francisco? Yeah. I worked for them. I was Anders last publisher. And my boss was telling me, you got to do this, you got to do this, I, I got to do this. And so this title means that I work my way up, I do what I think is best, and I'm going to tell the truth. He didn't like the truth. So they kind of try to push you into a certain political agenda? Exactly. Or exactly. Not unlike CNN and all the other ones. How long course. were you in the media? I was in the media about 17 years. Uh -huh. I had to get out. I went to San Diego State, majored in broadcast journalism, minored in English. Of course, living in Florida is very tough because I've heard of incidences with prepositions. I pretty much come to this conclusion that if they're taking commercial money, that they're corrupt, they got to be corrupt. I mean, because I mean, you're even seeing ads on TV now uh, for military defense contractors on the news program. I mean, who in the hell is buying a B-52 bomber right off of TV? Oh, well, I like that. I saw for... Yeah, I, I saw it on CNN and you bid on it. Yeah, right. But, um... Just curious now, um, rings true. Did you work with newspapers? Or? Yeah, well, I worked with a, uh, it was a local rag. Oh, okay. It was, a, it was called the, uh, the New Orleans Levy. We don't hold anything back. Right. But it was a political satirical rag. Is that what she was going off about, just getting after you about your opinion or something? No, no, no. She said, I, every, I'm racist for this. Racist? Yeah, yeah. She's, like she says, because I have him peeing on Obama. That's racist. Yeah, I know. I, I listen. I deal with it all the time. If you go to my, if you go to my YouTube channel, yes, please. You'll see the confrontations I have out here. I had one that actually made national news a while ago. Where one of those snowflakes came out here. Are you familiar with Alex Jones and Infowars? Yeah. Yeah. She, the woman said she wanted Alex Jones murdered. And she stood here for five minutes trying to justify why she wanted Alex Jones Mark. But I've got over 660 videos. I'd love to see that. Yeah, and a lot of them are confrontations with the idiots. Oh, it just, it's just like, you guess what I do for a living now? What? I officiate. Oh. I do high school and college sports. I get yelled at for a living, kind of like yeah, you. Yeah, right. And the thing is, is when, when, when they want to come out and they and they ask me about a certain rule interpretation or whatever, I say no. That is a judgment call. It has. It, it's not a rule interpretation. It's a judgment call. Hold on a minute. He goes back and he comes out with a rule book doing this. I said, what part of rule interpretation are you not understanding? You know. Do you but, see these stripes on me for a reason? Yeah, and those stripes too. Well, my friend, like I said, thank you for what you do. Oh, I mean, you, like I said, I'll be the first to admit if. if I, I grew up Democrat, but after seeing some of that shit, it's just like, look, you know what? Nobody said Trump was perfect. I don't remember anybody saying that. Indeed, but I, this is another thing, and here's where it goes, it leads into the media, too. It's about the deep state, because I'm looking at, you know, the fact that, it, and it's been in the lexicon now, it's starting to come out, because even the Republicans were against Trump. The one chink that the powers that be, the deep state that really runs them, couldn't cover is if a populist president should ever rise to the top. Right, right, right. And that's what happened with him. Because oh, yeah. he was supposed to be pushing Clinton. Because he did indeed have all the media against him. He had Silicon Valley against him, Hollywood against him. All the agenda, even the Pope was against him, and his own party. And it was only because of the anger that we've been feeling as because we were not being listened to. Right, exactly. Because our politicians, even the good ones, would go in and see them change. And it is the system itself, the deep state, that winds up corrupting them and this, where they can't get anything done. They've got it down to where even good people get in. They're going to spend the 90% of the time just raising money from the people that are the deep state. So in order to 
get their money, you have to go along with their agenda. It, absolutely. And, and you know, the sad thing is, is and I, I know you've heard this ad nauseum, but the sad thing is, is if the shoe, if, if, if everything was turned topsy turvy, and she won the same way that he won. Would we be taking the streets, burning the shit, you know, I mean, going nuts? Now, we'd be upset, but we lost. Let's move on and try to make the best of what we have. We can, you know, we can, we can, we can say, okay, y'all see what happens. Was there any riots after Obama won? There should have been. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My friend, let me get out of here before the boss gets after me. God bless. Thank you, sir. Yeah.